thanks for having me. So as uh, you introduced, I am Timam. I am based in Dhaka, Bangladesh. I work at a uh, company named Jake Life Stand. It is a US-based company. So um, uh, this journey of uh, installing Istio and ALB with Kennedy, it was uh, quite hectic for me. So I thought uh, if uh, it can help community, that will be great. So on that note, I will I start uh, presenting over there. Uh, be, but before going over there, I would like to mention that all of the resources uh, on the on the slide deck I have mentioned, I will be mentioning that will be available on uh, Medium as a blog post. Also, uh, the resources will be available on uh, my GitHub uh, that I will share. So why we chose uh, Kennedy Serving? So the possibilities are endless. Uh, the so, uh, scale down to zero that I personally liked and tried to play with it. And uh, that uh, that uh, leads us to deploying Kennedy on our uh, on our AWS account. So we are heavily using AWS. Uh, a we are heavily using AWS for all of our workloads. So mm, I'm a fan of EKS, you can say. So I was trying to deploy, but what I found that there are uh, good uh, official documentations are available there, but there are some uh, things I had to tweak or I had to figure out myself. So I will be sharing those knowledge as well. So the first thing first, uh, the versions uh, are quite felt important to me. So if you are using Istio and trying to install it, go over this link and you will find which uh, version is tested with which Kennedy version. So it will give you a quite confident, uh, it will give you confident that which will be working or uh, which uh, will not be working or something like that. I would, I would say go over the tested one with tested versions. So other than that, uh, as you already know, I was using EKS. So my EKS version was 1.22. I was using AWS load balancer controller. Uh, the version was 2.41 uh, and AWS, I installed it with uh, Helm. So the Helm chart version was 1.4.1. Uh, I'm not sure if that is helping, but uh, there are another tools like uh, BP, I had to enable VPC CNI. So uh, VPC CNI, uh, it will be needed uh, for your load balancing and other purposes. So V1.10.1 uh, EKS build, that was what I was using. By this time, uh, it is quite, uh, so EKS one, uh, 23 is available at this moment. So you can use that as well. But uh, like I said, you should uh, go over the versioning page and find out which version you want to install. So, from the official doc documentation, if you uh, go over this page, you will find that uh, a quite uh, simple installation process. So you go over your terminal. Your I, I believe you already have it. at this point. Uh, I believe you will already have your request up and running. Just run the Kennedy uh, install commands over there. Uh, I install the uh, I install the declarative method. So first, I install the CRDs and then the the serving core components. So there are uh, a lot of components over there. You will need uh, at least, uh, I think, two good servers to host this uh, host this uh, Kennedy over there. So once that application is done, you can uh, ra verify over there. So I'm not gonna uh, break down of, of all the all the details. What is uh, the components over there? I think you uh, I think you will find that uh, on on the documentation as well. So, but uh, what you can do is for verifying, you can run uh, QCTL get pods, uh, QCTL get all minus n native serving so that all, all the all the resources are, are visible to you. Uh, so, in this uh, in this page, I try to segregate all of them one by one. So you will have deployments, replica set, HPA, uh, pods, services, etc. So HPA is important. Uh, I, for that, you will need cube metrics. So you can, uh, I, I tested with multiple cube metrics. It works fine. So you, you will be of, okay with that. So once we have installed the Kennedy version, uh, Kennedy with the uh, declarative, now it is time to is install Istio. So for Istio installation, I used uh, the custom approach and I'm installing Istio with Istio, Istio CTL. So, Getting started is really too easy. So you just need to install Istio install minus Y. So it will get you started. And after that, 
you need to level it. So um, I, I am just enabling uh, the Istio namespace injection enable to Knative serving. And after that, I am creating a, so Istio has, Istio works with TLS and uh, there are other con configurations that are needed. So I am enabling uh, the uh, permissive uh, security pre-authentication so that it works with SSL, non-SSL with both versions. So once that is done, I'm I'm going to install the core versions with the this uh, specific command. So it, it is it is all available on official documentation. You can just follow over uh, from there as well. And the next step is uh, obviously verifying the Istio installation. You can get the details of it, uh, uh, all the pods running here. If if everything if uh, if something goes wrong yeah, goes wrong, you can obviously go back and troubleshoot. You can find uh, logs over there as well. So uh, previously, what I showed that uh, you can run Knative serving and get all the ports. Here, a couple of new things are there. After installing Istio, mostly uh, the, they are uh, connected to controller and webhook. Uh, so Istio webhook and Istio controller. So uh, go over there and try to run it as well so that you you will have a confidence that your Istio installation is uh, completed. So now your Istio is installed. Uh, after this, uh, installing Istio, if what you will have is like uh, this one. So you, you definitely want to expose your service to some domain. Uh, in my case, I'm using kn.themum.io, which is my domain. So uh, you need to patch the serving uh, config map for that. Uh, config domain uh, config map for that. Uh, after that, I uh, created a namespace hello world to ser uh, serve the application from that namespace and uh, created a uh, KSVC or uh, service um, Kennedy service over there. It is very straightforward, and I think you already know about that. And in the next step, uh, if I describe it, I can go to, uh, uh, it gives me a nice URL, go.helloworld.kn.themum.io. It is very long, but if you go over there, it should, it should uh, say hello world or something like that. Now, next uh, is configuring ELB. So uh, when we are using EKS, we want our uh, service exposed through ALB. By default, when Istio installs or uh, the installation process I followed, uh, it gives us a classic load balancer. I found a couple of issues uh, while scaling in uh, classic load balancers. So sometimes uh, it, uh, the target groups are not uh, attaching by itself. So there are some kind of uh, issues over there. So uh, and uh, classic load balancer is a couple. I think uh, if 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 it is not that old, uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, we we so it so what I am trying to say is uh, uh, the load balancer is uh, classic load balancer is quite old and uh, there are uh, too much uh, too much features available in AWS uh, load balancers. Uh, so you should obviously consider it while using with EKS. So now what I did is uh, I installed the pro, uh, the gateways with it and everything. So what I tried to exp uh, what I needed from here is the ports. So you can see I configured it with uh, so it gives me port, node port, and then target port. So with those information, what I needed to create is a load balancer configuration or ingress, I can say. So on, on there, I, I specifically mentioned what is the health check path, what are the ports we, are, we will be listening. So um, here, maybe the uh, maybe documentation doesn't say what we needed to be specifically, but I found that if you don't uh, specifically mention the security groups, uh, thus uh, load balancer will not be created. So make sure you mention all, all the all the subnet security group health check and uh, health check path port port with it so after that if you uh, create uh, create if you just run qct apply istio install or or your in ingress.eml it will create a load balancer for you and it will give you a, a nice output like this one so once you get that what you need to do is uh, go over uh, your domain uh, 
uh, you need to mention uh, or uh, create a C name uh, with the associated domain names with the load balancer uh, long URL. So uh, once you do that, you will get uh, you will get that it will it is uh, working. So let me go over my terminal and see how it goes. Let me get the uh, work my application first. It gives me my uh, application URL. Let me call it. So it should uh, greet us. It says hello from Kennedy. So this is the uh, this on on behind. Let me go over my browser, and uh, you can see here is my load balancer. Uh, in load balancer, I have listeners. I am going to uh, two listeners uh, uh, later. But for now, you can see that there, there is listener. And in load balancer, if you go rules, you can say all the path is configured to or directed to this uh, target group. So if I expand the target group, you will see that uh, the port is un the check is unhealthy. I at this moment I was not able to uh, get it out. I think. Uh, uh, in few in future days i will be able to do that but uh in the workloads that of uh, so whenever the EKS needs a scale up it automatically comes over there so it it doesn't give me a, that much pain uh next is uh the certificate one so obviously we don't want our service uh, to be exposed with uh http so we need we need a few things like we need our custom domain what we need to uh, also the https so what I uh, have done is I have created a uh, I have created a SEM certificate over there, and I just add, add a it to load balancer. You can configure it with uh, YML as well. You can find it on SIGs, uh, 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 the the documentation for load balancer over there. So now let me go over the terminal again. Uh, so. I'll, I have set the custom domain as so it is eventually pointing to the same service. Uh, uh, we can we can uh, go over the HTTPS as well. Let me see if it works with HTTPS. I'm just copying from here. So it is here. Now let me go through uh, the simple uh, sim few few lines of YAML course. So here I have uh, NS. I just created a, uh, a, dom a namespace over here. Then I have KSVC. So I have created a uh, simple service over there. I'm passing some vari environment variables as well. And then I have my custom domain. Uh, there are two parts over here. First is uh, custom domain claim, and then is uh, map domain mapping. So uh, with this simple simple uh, line of code, uh, I was able to deploy my first service over uh, Kennedy. Uh, and for that, I was using EKS. So that was uh, my journey, uh, starting journey of my uh, uh, Kennedy over EKS. So uh if you i think there are a couple of hands over there so if you have questions uh, i will try to answer them <laughs>